Hello everybody, it's Kakaras, and today we're going to be playing some more Minecraft. Basically, we are back at World 5. Whoa, crazy lag. Anyway, we're back at World 5. Uh, this is going to be the main world that we'll be playing because I changed my mind. Thanks to... Thanks in particular to... Dark Sage one three nine six, who kind of pointed out that this world is pretty beast, and uh, that there's still a lot that I could do on this world. And I thought about it for a bit, and I realized that this world is beast, and that uh, I should play on it some more. So we will be staying here for quite a while. Because I, I got a couple of good ideas for some new stuff that I can do. Which I will talk about in a bit. But first, uh, let's talk about the next most important thing. Which is a texture pack. I tried out a, the texture pack last episode. And most people didn't like it. So what I ended up doing is I took the textures that I really liked. Like the glass texture. Uh, the flower texture, the paintings, uh, the sun and the moon, which should be here somewhere. If I turn on to far render distance. And basically what I did was that I just used those textures, but then I left everything else out. And I might be making a tutorial on how to how I did it, if anyone wants to see that. Oh, there's the moon. Yep, yeah, so the texture pack is no more. But I I will be using some of the stuff I like because I like it. The other main texture thing I, I kept was the pumpkins, the instead of the crops. Cause they look nice and I will be making a farm soon, so look forward to that. And if you have any suggestions for what you want it to look like, leave it in the comment section. And I will be sure to check check it out and think about it. The next thing is this room, which is a as you remember the storage room. Well I finished it. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. We have some furnaces, some workbenches, some lag. Clean dirt, cobblestone, blah 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 unsmelted and smelted glass I have a lot of iron, some coal wood, gravel other blocks, and I have a lot of snow so I might be working on an igloo or a snow house type thing if you guys wanna leave any suggestions for what, what type of house or igloo you want me to build again the comment section is where you could do that or you could also do it in the chat room of my toolbar which is another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about I, s I made a toolbar a little while ago like a day or so ago and basically you can download it the download link is on my channel uh, under the description which would be like the left ish side the middle left under where it says my name and my, uh, has my picture and all that kind of stuff basically what my toolbar has is uh, it has a link to my channel it has a search bar which would allow you to search google youtube and like you you can pick which site you want to search so it has google youtube reddit and uh, the minecraft wiki which i'm pretty sure is called minepedia I'm not sure though. Well, <laughs> wow. Okay, the other thing it has is Facebook support. So if you want to log into your Facebook, and you can see your up uh, your your uh, not notifications that kind of stuff, and you can just from the toolbar you can go to your Facebook page. And uh, as I mentioned before, it has a chat room, which would allow you to um, to talk to me and to other users, like a normal chat room would. And I will be on it quite a lot if some people download it, and I I'll be sure to chat with you guys. And it also has like a little news slider thing that has 
that I can like post updates to. So if you want to get that, then download it from the this, my channel description on my channel page. Or I might even add the link to the to the video description, but probably not. Okay, next thing that I would like to talk about is snowballs. Snowballs. A couple of people wanted me to show you guys. Snowballs are basically like projectile weapons that do no damage. Oh, beautiful music. So pretty. Oh, and you probably saw in my inventory, that's a clock, or a watch, or a clock. And I will be showing you guys how to make it a bit later in this episode. Actually, let me turn the music down, because it might be a bit overpowering. You guys want to hear my beautiful voice, don't you? <laughs> Alright, so let's go find an animal of some sort to hit with this. And basically, the, uh, you probably already know, the way you get snowballs is by uh, hitting snow with a shovel, or collecting snow with a shovel. And then you can pick them up and throw them. And they do no damage if they hit something. They're just cool because you can like throw snowballs at stuff. But I have heard that they can kill ghasts, which are the, the hell monsters that shoot uh, fireballs. Or the rocket things at you. And another thing I heard about the ghasts is that um, you could deflect their snowball things. Not their snowball things, their, uh, their rocket things. Uh, with your fist, if you punch it uh, out of... Wow. Ooh, ambient cave noises that way. So as you can see, if I right click, I get wool. But the sheep would never die from this. So I could just keep hitting them over and over again until I run out of snowballs or until I lag. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to our base thing and then we will see we will s <laughs> We will do some stuff. This is the second attempt of me trying to make this video because the first video I made uh, for some reason wasn't saving properly and like I couldn't get it into the I couldn't get it to save on my computer so I'm basically redoing it but what I did in the other video was I explored that way oh wait no that way yeah that way that direction and we went all the way there and there's basically a a, sn a desert biome oh wow fantastic hold on guys i will be right back and we are back world sorry for that inconvenience Ha ha ha. Well, that's probably like the lamest thing ever. Okay. Let's go make some stuff today. Alright, so first I'm going to show you guys the fishing rod. Basically, it was added, I'm pretty sure it was added last update, which was the Halloween update. And that's how you make it by having three diagonal sticks and then two string under the top stick and then basically what it lets you do is it lets you to fish <laughs> it lets you to fish <laughs> and it also lets you pull mobs and stuff towards you so if I go ice fishing here for example could throw my oh, I think I missed ice fishing is pretty hard there we go now it'll just float over there 
and then when it bobs, I will right click, and then I will lag. No, just kidding. Uh, when it bobs, that means that there's a, a fish should be on the hook, and I have to right click, and then a fish will get pulled up, and hopefully, if a fish does get pulled up, then you can eat it, or you could cook it to get more food. But I don't know how effective this is going to be. Oh, there we go. That's better. Come to me, fishies. Where are these fishies? Okay. So, that's not really working right now. But you can believe me that there would be fish at some point in time. I might just have to make another video where I try and make it work. But let's just see if I can find an animal really fast to hit with this to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, this lag is terrible. Maybe that'll be better. I wonder why it's doing this. I'm gonna have to try and fix it after I finish this. So as you can see, I can hit and then I can pull towards me. Get over here. Ta-da! Anyway, before I run out of time, I just want to show you guys the watch or the clock device which basically shows day and night and that should be all that I need to talk about today where is my okay take out some gold take out some redstone Basically, the way you make it is the same as a compass, but instead of iron or instead of steel, you have um, you have gold. Tada! Now I'm not gonna take it because I already have one, but that would be how you make it, and I will show you how it works. All right now. So basically, you pick it up, and then it tells you what time it is. So right now, as you can see, it says that it's a day. And that's that's correct because it is day. But then, as it gets darker, it should it should like I I've already tried it, but it, it it'll basically say that it's night, and it'll oh it's doing it right now. I'm pretty sure. You can see how the pixels are gonna move. Or while I leave that, I'm just gonna finish up, and then if it does change, I will point that out, or you'll probably be able to see it. For next episode, I will probably be building my mine cart track system, and basically what I wanted to do with that is I wanted it to lead me from this area, and I'm gonna build like a central station type thing, and I want it to take me from here to all four directions stretching uh, away from here so like northeast southwest and uh, and then I have another secret type project with minecarts that I'm pretty sure hasn't been done before so I'm gonna try that as well so if you have any suggestions for what you want me to build for future episodes feel free to leave it in the comment section below and if you like the videos, please like them and tell your friends because we want the community to grow. And if the community does grow, then we could do some more cool stuff like live streams, which I am planning to do in the future. And maybe we might even start our own server if I get a better computer soon. But uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next episode. Bye.